So I'm going to give you a brief tutorial about how to set up and use the drone. Uh, first of all, you need to know that there are two different kinds of blades. This one, you'll notice, is silver on the ring around it, and this one is black. Let's put them side by side. And there's a silver, there's a black. Not much of a difference. And over here, on the posts, there is nothing or black dots. So you're going to take a black blade, black dots, you're going to line them up. And these are really simple. It really takes two hands, so I'm not going to do it. You push down and turn, and it locks in. It's very simple. It's obvious. They have to be on the right ones because the blades actually spin opposite directions, the ones that are next to each other. That way, when they're spinning, they're spinning toward each other. Um, if they were spinning the same direction, then they'd be bumping into each other. Um, you know, that one would be going that way, and this one would be going that way, and that would be bad. So that's the blades. That's very important. Get them wrong, you won't fly. Uh, second thing, when you pull it out of the case, it will have this guard on the camera. Very simple. Uh, pop it off. Off of the landing gear, and the camera's gimbal is now free move around. Don't lose this. I always put it right back into the case and keep it there. Uh, flipping over, a couple of things to know. Number one, if you have uh, an SD card or want to pull the SD card out, it is on one side of the drone, right there, that little tiny slot. Right there, that's a, that's a micro SD. Uh, I keep a 64 gig card in it. Um, that is a micro USB uh, port, which you will not use. These are sensors so that it doesn't bump into things. It has very good forward and backward sensors um, right there. So it will keep you from bumping into things mostly. Don't trust it. Yeah, side to side, not quite as good, um, but good enough to keep you from bumping into buildings, not into leaves and trees. You bump into a leaf and uh, so bad things can happen. Um, DJI, both the controller and the drone to turn it on. You will press the button on the power. Oh, by the way, battery. Uh, I have three of them. Each one is about 30 minutes of flight time in the wind, closer to 27 if you're flying it fast and whipping it around 25. Uh, big battery. If you push the button on it, it'll tell you how charged it is. This one, four lights, very charged. Uh, putting it in, the circle goes to the right. To turn it on, press once and press and hold a second time. And on, on, stay on, you can hear it. It'll fire up. It just actually it would have wiggled uh, a couple of the blades to make sure that they're there. Uh, I'm not doing. I'm not worried about that right now. The controller, same way. Um, you're going to connect it using a lightning cable uh, to your iPad. Uh, the iPad is uh, really good, better than an iPhone. Uh, it certainly can work with iPhone. Plug in your lightning cable, plug in to USB uh, on the bottom down here. Setting down the phone, don't worry about it. So there, plugged in down there, plugged into there. I sometimes take it and coil it around the antenna just so it doesn't flop around. The antenna are important if you're flying any distance at all that you want them uh, rabbit eared up and pointed toward the drone, whichever direction is you know, it's probably in front of you, so that's that's probably the right way to have it oriented. Now to um, to the iPad, you will need to download DG, DJI Go 4, and I will turn that on in a second, but first I'm going to turn on the controller. Press, press and hold. Can you believe me? Press and hold. Four lights come on. It is now on. I'm now going to turn on the app. There's the app. And I'm going to show you something. Instead of start flight, I'm going to show you the Academy because it actually has a flight simulator. Go to the hamburger up there in the upper right corner. Press on Academy. Right in the middle, flight simulator. And by the way, there are some very nice videos on flight tutorials. Um, pretty basic. Flight simulator is better. Press Enter. And you are now in the app as if you're flying the drone. The only difference is you would normally be looking through the camera. I'll show you that in a minute when we go live into the drone. 
and you can now fly. To take off, you will press this button over here. Press. Brings up this thing in the middle. Notice it says precisely record the takeoff point. Uh, that way it'll come back pretty close to where you took off. And if you select that button, and now it's time to take off, you slide to take off. And take you'll see off. in the simulator, it has now taken off. The joysticks are incredibly simple. If you're in any kind of trouble flying the drone, just let go of these joysticks and it'll stop where it is and hover. And you can figure out what you want to do. So what do the four sticks do? Okay, this, this one on the left, push up and the drone t adds altitude. Press down and it subtracts altitude all the way to the ground if you want it to. If you press and hold until it touches the ground, it'll then turn the blades off. If you're in real trouble, like you can't land it because you're in a parking lot and it says, I, I see too much stuff around, I can't park. The way to do it is you walk underneath it with two hands, so you can't, you need two people to do this, and you grab, you, you just fly down and just grab this with both hands from below. Now the blades will be spinning and so you want to be below it, and then whoever is flying it presses this down to nothing and holds it there until the blades stop. Um, now, so that's um, up and down. It also will rotate. I'm going to bring it closer to us so you can see this more clearly. Um, if I now turn this, push it to the right, it rotates to the right. So the left stick, up and down, left and right rotation. What's the other stick do? The other stick, very simple. Um, the camera is now, I'm going to point the camera away from us, so it is, we are now looking at the back end of the drone in the simulator. Push forward, goes forward away from us. So let's do that again, I'm going to bring it back. So, pull the drone, pushing forward, drone moves away, pull back, drone comes toward us. Uh, and of course it went too far, so I'm going to move it back past us again. So now we're looking at the back of it again. Push to the right. It translates to the right. Push to the left. It translates to the left. And basically that's it. Now there is a beginner mode that is not a bad idea. You can change modes uh, when you want to. And there are other things that you can do that are not available in simulator. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now just um, land it. So I'm going to tell it to go back to home, which is one cool thing. If it's, if it's far away and you're lost, um, just have it return to home Landing. and it'll go up to something like 90 feet to um, to get away from anything and uh, it says now it has descended to 10 to 1 foot should I continue landing yes and it's gonna land in the grass now a couple of things to notice up here at the top battery life very important at 30 percent you gotta land you got three batteries there's no reason to risk it being half a mile away from you and, and be in trouble um, you can make other changes here. You're right there. And um, these are camera settings if you want to change them. Here is how you run the video. You can change from, if you click this, it changes it from camera mode, which it is in right now. And you notice there's no SD card, so I can't take a picture right now. Or to video mode that says turn on the recorder. Pay attention to it because I've noticed it'll, it'll show you underneath how many minutes it has been recording. Um, recently I, I tried to use it and it stopped recording at one point. So if you're doing something important, then um, make sure that you keep an eye on that. Settings are here. Uh, if for some reason you want to play with the camera settings, you better know what you're doing if you're going to do that because it's, uh, it's tough. Keep it in auto, it's pretty good. Uh, and then the other thing, I'm going to now exit the simulation mode. Anytime you want to exit, you're going to hit their logo upper left corner. You sure you want to leave the simulator? Yes. Mode. I'm going to go back to the app and now I'm going to say start flight. Now I'm not actually going to start flight. That's going into flight mode. There is flight mode. Now this is what you're actually going to see. Notice that that is the camera. If I go wiggle my hand in front of it, there, that's live here in my kitchen. And there's one control you want to know about. It is on the front of the controller. It's a dial, uh, which I can't really see if you can see, but um, yeah, there it is. That dial is uh, I'm going to turn that, and you'll see what it does. Uh, as, I, as I push the dial one direction, the camera points down. Push the other way, it points up. 
Um, you can move it to any setting you want, of course. And right underneath, I'm not going to show you, but there's a button directly under, you know, all the way down there on the bottom, that if you push it, it just snaps it to the opposite. So that's straight down, that's straight forward. It'd be helpful when you're trying to land. I like to point down when I'm landing to see where I am, and then I'll snap forward just to take a look around if, if, it's, if it's a little bit away from me. Um, there's also the home button here. If you want, if you need to return to home, you press that. It's just an emergency. Oh my gosh, I'm, I can't, you know, maybe your iPad died. And uh, that's a way to get control without being able to see the drone. And a fun mode that I'm going to tell you about, this button right here, there's a whole bunch of them you're going to want to play with. There's this, and you can go into draw mode where you tell it, I want you to, you actually point on the screen and draw, go from here to here to here, and the drone will follow that path in the air. There's active track, which is the best one. This is where you point it at your dog or kid or, um, it's, no, it's not going to work right now, uh, or, or someone who's walking. you got to be fairly close to them. You can't be a mile up in the air, you know, 400 feet in the air is the maximum. Um, you press active track, a box appears. You can resize the box, and when you click go, it follows them. It's very cool. Um, there's more. Tap fly. You'll want to look up some of these. Uh, tripod mode, that's the last one in that, uh, that list, is just what it sounds like. It's going to try to hover in one spot and just take pictures as if it's, as if it's on a tripod. Um, and then just a bunch more terrain following, points of interest, etc. So that should be everything. And I hope you have fun. And let me know what you think. Sorry about the 12-minute video.